Hi, and thanks for joining me here at the Techie Coach. And today I'm going to talk about a couple of new features that were just recently added to Google Sheets. A couple of features that I think you're going to love that will make your life a little bit easier. One specific feature that many teachers that I work with have been asking for is the ability to align or rotate text so that it can be used vertically or at an angle in Sheets. And this is a feature that you can find in some other programs like Excel, but for one reason or another, it just hasn't been there in Sheets, and people have been waiting for this one. So what you have to do is if you wanted, for instance, these dates to appear vertically or at an angle, just highlight the cells, and you have a couple of options for formatting. You can go to the Format menu and choose Text Rotation, which gives you all of these options here or custom angles that you can choose. Or you can simply go up to the toolbar and choose this text rotation tool. And from here, I want these to be tilted up. So if I do that, it arranges it so that they're tilted up. Now, the great thing about this that I like is that if I wanted to make these columns a little bit narrower, because that's one of the things that this affords is the ability for your columns to take up less space when your header is not as big. Then once I resize those columns and add borders to this, it's going to look a little bit different than you're used to. Now that brings us to another feature, and that is the fact that inside Sheets now you have more border options. If you go to the toolbar for the Borders tool and you click and add borders, you'll see that because I've tilted that up, it automatically creates an angled border to those cells. Plus, now you have the option of using a dashed line or a dotted line that you often find in a lot of accounting spreadsheets when you add borders to your sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and add the dots and of course you can still add any kind of color that you want to that. And of course for what we're doing today I'm just going to go ahead and change this back because I'd like that to be a solid line. So I'm going to leave that as is. But as you can see um, my dates now take up less space, my columns are smaller, and if I wanted to add more dates out to the right as we have more meetings, then I won't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to the right. I have more room to work with here. And finally, the last feature that's been added are accounting number formats. So if you're using Google Sheets for budgets or expenses, then you now have monetary amounts that line up with accounting measures. So for instance, if I had students and we were taking dues for our club and some had paid and some had not, I go ahead and put those in and I want those to appear as dollar amounts. If I highlight those cells and then go to the format menu and go to number, you're going to notice that what's been added this week is an accounting option. And so by clicking on accounting, it retains that number format and of course you've got if you've got larger dollar amounts, that go above $100 into the thousands range. You've got the comma that's inserted in there and you also have your dollar sign that appears. So um, let me show you what that looks like. And of course, there you are. So great features to add to Sheets. This makes Sheets a much more robust tool for those that have been hanging on to Excel and waiting to make the switch to Sheets. I hope you find this to be useful for you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me or you can check out my blog at www.techiecoach.com. Thanks for joining me.